even though 50% of the population are women, and more than half of the graduate students in sciences are women, the percentage of women in science, in academia, and in industry is well below half. The Weizmann Institute of Science puts a major effort in advancing women in science as a part of its overall mission to diversify science for the sake of enriching science. Today, I would like to introduce you to a few female scientists who have made major strides in their research areas and indeed enrich science. The first is Professor Nei Tudovic, who is the first woman to head a research group at Weizmann in the Faculty of Physics. In my group, we study some of the fastest phenomena in nature. In my lab, there is one unique laser that emits the light not continuously, but short bursts of light, where the duration of each burst is about a billionth of a billionth of a second. And with this laser light, we can in fact capture the motions of electron inside atoms, molecules, solids, and then by taking several snapshots, we can compose a movie. And this movie will be one of the fastest movies that can be resolved in nature. And over the past years, we have been able to produce such movies. Now, looking forward, we'd like to take these movies and in fact, turn them into a control scheme. One day, we'll be able to in fact, manipulate the matter itself on extremely short time scale. For example, take a transparent material and turn it into an absorber. Or alternatively, let's take a metal and turn it into an oscillator during a billion of a billion of a second. Professor Adi Kimchi, Israel Prize Laureate for 2019 in the field of life sciences, plays an active role in advancing women in science at the Weizmann Institute. During our research at the Weizmann, we discovered a group of genes that are associated with the cell's decision to die or to live. If we know to monitor and to control this program, we can kill tumor cells in a most efficient and specific way, and we can prevent the death of cells in our body, for example, the death of neurons in our brain, in Alzheimer or Parkinson's diseases. Unfortunately, when I look around, I see that the percentage of women scientists at the high ranks is very low. I initiated a few programs. One of them was mentoring program in which women at high positions in the academia mentor young students. They meet together, they discuss the challenges in combining family with academic career. This program helps the young students to choose the path towards the highest ranks in the academic career. Dr. Michal Leskes from the Department of Materials and Interfaces focuses on the research of rechargeable batteries for a large range of electronic devices. Here at Weizmann, we use solid-state NMR spectroscopy, which is coupled with dynamic nuclear polarization. We use this high sensitivity in order to understand the chemistry that is taking place inside rechargeable batteries. And we hope that one day, inside from our study, we'll be able to design more sustainable and long-lasting battery cells to improve our capabilities of energy storage. I joined the department in 2015, following a postdoctoral period at the University of Cambridge in the UK. My postdoc was enabled by funding from the National Programme for Advancing Women in Science, which was initiated by the Weizmann Institute. And this funding aims to help support women scientists when they transition to a postdoctoral period abroad. And except for the generous funding, it also provides a boost of confidence for women that they made the right career choice. Over the years, the women scientists at the Institute have advanced many research fields, including cancer research, protein research, autoimmune diseases, encryption, and computer science. They have won prestigious international awards, including the Nobel Prize, the Turing Award, and the Israel Prize. We hope you will be able to come visit us soon and learn more about our scientists who embark every day on a fascinating journey towards the unknown. See you on our next tour.